We are reading about the passenger pigeon um, in the fascinating book of history read by Ronald Simmons. The Passing of the Passenger Pigeon. When Europeans first visited North America, the passenger pigeon was easily the most numerous bird on the continent. But by the early 1900s, it was extinct. What led to this incredible change in fortune? Pigeons on the wing. From the first written descriptions of the passenger pigeon, in 1534, eyewitnesses struggled with how to describe what they saw. Flights of the 16-inch long bird were staggeringly, almost mind-numbingly big. Flocks were measured in the millions, if not billions, and could be heard coming for miles. When passing overhead, a flight could block out the sun to the point that chickens would come to roost. Passenger pigeons flew at around 60 miles an hour. One nickname dubbed the bird the Blue Meadow. But even so, a group sighted by Colton Mather was a mile long and took hours to pass overhead. At least one explorer hesitated to detail what he had seen for fear that the entirety of his report would be dismissed as a mere exaggeration. Settlers viewed the passenger pigeon with trepidation. A passing flock could wreak havoc on crops, stripping fields bare and leading to famine. A flight passing overhead or roosting on your land would leave everything covered with noxious bird droppings. A situation that would lead to more fertile soil in following years, but do little to endure the creatures to farmers at the moment. Pigeons on the table. With such vast numbers, what could possibly have led to the extinction of the passenger pigeon? There are a number of theories, but the most likely answer seems to be the most obvious. People hunted them out of existence. Native Americans had long used the pigeons as a food source, and the Europeans followed suit, developing a systematic approach to harvesting the birds that simply outstripped their ability to reproduce. At first, the practice was an exercise in survival, a case of explorers feeding themselves on the frontier or settlers eating pigeon meat in place of the crops the birds had destroyed. However, necessity soon evolved into a matter of convenience and simple economy. The birds were cheap to put on the table. Killing the birds in bulk was almost a trivial exercise. Initially, settlers could walk up under trees of nesting birds and simply knock them down using oars. As the birds became more wary, firearms were a natural choice for hunters. Flocks were so dense, one report gives a count of 132 birds blasted out of the sky with a single shot. Nets were strung across fields easily yanking the birds from the air as they flew. Perhaps most infamously, a captive bird would be tied to a platform that was raised and then suddenly dropped, and the pigeon fluttered to the ground. Other pigeons would think the decoy was all lightened to feed and would fly down to join him, a practice that became the origin for the English term stool pigeon. Hunters would catch the birds in nets, then kill them by crushing their heads between thumb and forefinger. Pigeons on display. By 1860, flocks had declined noticeably, and by the 1890s, calls went out for a motarium on hunting the animals. But to no avail, conservation experts tried breeding the birds in captivity to little effect. It seems the pigeons long for the company of their enormous flocks and could not reproduce reliably without them. By the time experts realized this, the flocks no longer existed. Well, the passenger pigeon, extinct by the year 1900.